Gentlemen, let's put our hands together for our daughter. Come on, come on, come on. Sing hallelujah.
Thank you. My name is Nathan. And we are the Watoto Children's Choir from Uganda, East Africa. That's exactly right. And thank you for having us here this evening. All of the boys and girls standing before you tonight have gone through the heart-wrenching experience of losing one or both of their parents to war and to disease. The AIDS epidemic that is sweeping through Africa is leaving millions of children alone without a mom or a dad to care for them. However, we at Watoto believe that these children are Uganda's greatest resource. Amen. And so we are committed to placing each one of them into homes and families where the necessary love, care, spiritual discipleship, and physical needs are met. Today we have smiles on our faces and joy in our hearts because we know God loves us and has a wonderful plan for our lives. Amen. We have come to celebrate with you the love of God and all that he has done for us tonight. Who can heal the broken hearted? Jesus, you are Lord. Oh, yes, finishing me what you started. Jesus, you are Lord. Yes, Lord, you are the first and you're the last. My future cleans my past. Jesus, you are Lord. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now this is a little song from South Africa, and we would like you all to sing along with us. Just sing, Jesus, you are Lord, and let's celebrate the Lord together. Who can heal the broken hearted? Jesus, you are Lord. Oh, yes, finishing me what you started. Jesus, you are Lord. Yes, Lord, you are the first and you're the last. Jesus, you are Lord. Oh, you hold my future, cleanse my past. Jesus, you are Lord. We sing hallelujah to the Almighty God. We shout our praises to you from the mountain top. We sing hallelujah to the peace of peace. Shout our praises to you. Our praise never cease. All right, that was not bad. Now with our hands clapping, let's try the second verse all together. The one who brought salvation's plan. Jesus, you are Lord. Oh yes, he shed his blood to save all men. Jesus, you are Lord. He is the ruler of the night and day. Jesus, you are Lord. Oh, we when the winds and storms obey. Jesus, you are Lord. Let's just sing. We sing hallelujah to the almighty God. Shout our praise.
city will be better than all our deepest dreams. The pearly gates, streets of gold, a shining glassy sea. Jesus are so great to you, big arms open wide. To welcome all who love him, his church is a one true bride.
everyone. Thank you for having us here today. My name's Ben and I'm 11 years old. When I was just a baby, my father died. Then when I was seven years old, also my mother died, leaving me with my grandmother. She was very poor and was not able to send me to school. Many times I would work all day, digging for food and return home at night with nothing to eat. Life was very difficult. One day though, we heard that Watoto Child Care Ministries was caring for children like me. Watoto took me in and gave me a home with a new mother and family who loved me. They also enrolled me in a school. I studied so hard that I placed the second in my class. When I grow up, I want to be a doctor so that I can help poor people and feed them for free. I'm proud, I'm proud being Watoto because they are training me to be one of the future leaders of Uganda. The Bible says, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you are not to harm you. Plans to give you a future filled with hope. God has shown me that he's so good and that his love endures forever.
Thank you very much. I hope you're having a good time. Are you having a good time? All right. We two are having a very good time. Aren't we, Watoto? Yes, Uncle Dennis. Good. <laughs> now, in this next song, we would like to give you an opportunity to sing and dance with Watoto. So we'll ask you to please stand up. And just watch Watoto and try to sing and dance exactly like they do, all right? All right. Back home in Africa, there's a song that we sing. And it simply says, cast your burdens unto Jesus, for he cares for you. And then we lift him up as high as we can. Now, to be our Toto, you have to sing and dance with all your might. Are you all ready to be our Toto? All right. Here we go. Cast your burdens unto Jesus. trials and temptations. Come on and give them all to Jesus. You see, all these boys and girls are here to testify to you tonight that Jesus cares for you. So come on everybody, let's cast all our burdens to Jesus. Come on now, one more time. Cast your burdens unto Jesus.
That was a good job singing and dancing, ladies and gentlemen. You did almost as good as Watoto. Thank you very much. Greetings. My name is Kennedy, and I am the big man of the group. Very strong and brave. <laughs> However, I wasn't always this way. When I was just three, my father died. And my mother left me to be passed from relative to relative. Sometimes I was left all by myself. And I would feel so afraid and lonely. Then about two years ago, a nurse lady from Watoto came to my village looking for children who needed help. Soon after talking with me, she brought me to Watoto and gave me a beautiful house and a loving family. They also gave me new clothes and my first pair of shoes. Watoto is sending me to school now, and I'm the only one in my whole family who has been given this opportunity. And I am so thankful for my sponsors who pay for my needs and also send me wonderful letters and gifts. Through Watoto, God has shown me that he is my father and And that he will never leave me, but, but always cares for me. In Swahili, we say, Baraka za Mungu, God never fails. Wow. 
The blessings of God are so amazing. Come on, what to Baraka za Mungu kwa nini za Nisaja Baraka za Mungu kwa nini za Nisaja Zaweza kwa na juu Zaweza kwa na shi Zaweza kwa na mbele Zaweza kwa na nyuma Upande upande kwa mataifa yote Upande upande kwa mataifa yote Baraka za Mungu kweli Yeah, that's 
thing he never paid. He is Ruth and I'm nine years old. I am thankful to share with you today about God's faithfulness. You know all of us in the choir each have a unique story. We have all been through difficult situations and pain that no child should know. We all know what it is like to be abandoned and afraid. The storms of life have rained heavy on us. However, Jesus has shone his light on us. He has rescued and comforted us. He has been our help in times of trouble. He answers every cry. He heals every heart. Jesus is our peace.
to hear my cry for love and peace inside. Then your love can come and rescue me. Thank you. I want to thank you for giving me hope. Peace, love. generosity and for investing in the children as they just sang they have hope and new life because of the love of God working through people just like you so thank you before we go on any further we would like to take a moment and let the choir introduce themselves is that all right with you <laughs> hello everyone my name is Derek, and I'm 11 years old. When I grow up, I want to make McDonald's in Uganda. Hello, my name is Sharon, and I'm 11 years old. When I grow up, I want to be a teacher. My name is Jane, and I'm 11 years old. When I grow up, I want to be a nurse. Hi, my name is Ben, and I'm 11. When I grow up, I want to be a doctor. Hello, my name is Henry and I'm 11 years old. When I grow up, I want to be an engineer. I'm Daniel and I'm 10. When I grow up, I want to be a pilot. I'm Jovia and I'm 11 years old. When I grow up, I want to travel with Watoto. My name is Catherine and, and I am 12. When I grow up, I want to be a pharmacist. My name is David and I'm 10. When I grow up, I want to be a doctor. My name is Kennedy and I'm 13. I want to be a pilot. My name is Brian and I'm 10. I want to be a marine. Hi, my name is Rose and I'm 9. I want to be a teacher. Hello, my name is Ruth and I'm 9. I want to be a teacher. 
Hello, my name is Winfred and I am 10. When I grow up, I want to be a flight attendant. Hi, I'm Nathan. I'm 10. I want to be a pilot. My name is Regina. I'm 8. I want to be a doctor. Hi, my name is Godfrey and I'm 6. I'm the young man of the group. When I grow up, I want to be a pastor. Hi everybody, my name is Davlin and I'm Chen. When I grow up, I want to be a lawyer. Now all of these incredible children will be waiting at the back after the concert to greet you and to give you a big hug. Now the adults will introduce themselves. Hello, my name is Dennis and it's very good to be here. Good evening, my name is Catherine. I'm Enoch. Thanks for having us here tonight. And my name is Candace. Our director is Uncle Joshua, and you'll find aunties Florence, Stephanie, and Patience at the tape tables. Our sound man and team leaders are Timothy and Amy Skinner, accompanied by Baby Dawson. Before we sing our last song, we would like to once again say thank you so much for having us here with you tonight. We pray that God will bless you greatly for your kindness to the children of Uganda. So take me to the Toto, like this. to laugh, to sing, shout, and dance. And when we sing, we make a lot of noise because God has been good to us. Here come for the Benda, Jesus, and Ma. Here come for the Benda, Jesus, and Ma. Come for the Benda, Jesus, and Ma. Hallelujah! I dance before the Lord. I dance before the Lord. Come on, come on. Forever, yes, we want to 
gentlemen, come on. Now if you love the Lord Jesus, say, ah, come on. Ah, and if you love the Lord Jesus, say, eh. eh. Come on, if you love the Lord Jesus, shout, hallelujah. greatness of their program is these little voices in harmony singing perfectly. I mean, they're just, they're, they're singing and you want to run up and sing with them by the end of the, their concert. The music was really um, professionally done. Uh, I'm a musician, so I know it was balanced, EQ, very well, and uh, just fabulous, the whole thing. Just really well put together, their costumes, their lighting, all of that. Everything is all good. It was really cool for our kids to get a chance to experience the children from Africa because the energy, their enthusiasm, these children are wonderful. They appreciate America, they appreciate us. I am just excited about these kids. They are so magnificent. They have so much energy. If they can just give you a little energy, and I'm just thrilled that I came out tonight with my friends to see them. Everyone, by the end of every time I've heard them sing, has, has wanted to just go into the bus and travel with them for the rest of the tour. I was just amazed, it almost brought me to tears, so yeah. it's amazing Such an encouragement. Such an encouragement, very good. The reason that I'm here is um, I have my daughter with me, I brought her. We've met the boys, uh, in fact, we, we're a host family for them. It's just been such a, such a blessing for us. And, and I tell people that it's not a, the show is not a, it's not a concert to us, it's a, it's a worship. They just, yeah, they make me happy. <laughs> they inspire me because they're just so joyful. Their faces are so cute when they're up there. And, I just love to listen to them. We kept talking to my grandson who lives about two hours away from us. We went down and picked him up and brought him down to this concert. And he looked at me and he says, Grandpa, he says, this is awesome. He said, I'd go see him again. It's very powerful for just anyone who, who ever sees them. And if they don't see them, they've really lost out. I've seen them four times and I cry every time I see them. And whenever they're in California, I'll see them again. We never miss the uh, children. They're, they're fantastic. We see them almost every time they come here. You really feel good when you leave here. You just can't help but feel good. I was six years old and my father passed away. My mom and dad, they died of AIDS. My dad died when I was a baby. My mom died in 1999. I don't have anywhere to go. I don't, I, I don't go to school. Everything is difficult for me. Sometimes we couldn't eat dinner, sometimes, but sometimes we would. Most of the times we couldn't eat dinner. We'd go and dig for food all day and come back home without nothing to eat. I felt like I'm losing hope. I prayed to God, what's wrong with me, what's going on? And my brother cried for three days. And then God answered my prayers. What I like about singing is many of the people, we touch their hearts and they get to know Jesus. I like singing and I sing because when some people, they have come to churches, when they are not saved, some of them get saved. When I sing and dance, it feels like I'm dancing to God. God has done much to me, so I must thank Him for what He has done to me. <laughs> Thank you.
In 1979, my, my parents, uh, Gary and Marilyn Skinner, moved to Africa as missionaries. They pastor a church in Uganda called Kampala Pentecostal Church. It's about a 9,000 member congregation. Today in Uganda, there are 24 and a half million people, and of those, at least 1,200,000 of them are children whose parents have died as a result of AIDS or war or other things. So our church was compelled to do something to meet the needs of these children in the hope that one day these kids would grow up to become the next generation of Ugandan leaders. With that in mind, we started Watoto Child Care Ministries. It's a, a program that today is caring for over 1,200 children, providing food and clothing and education, shelter and homes for kids. And uh, we really feel that by placing orphan children in a family setting where a foster mother cares for them and they grow up in a family environment that these kids will grow up and make something great out of their lives. Amy and I, you know, we feel privileged to be able to come alongside and to be able to help them mm -hmm. because we know that, that all of that has a part in accomplishing the goals of Watoto to raise the next generation of Ugandan leaders. It has been exciting. It teaches you a lot of things to do with responsibility and also it keeps you in line because if you expect kids to do something, you have to be doing it. And then the other things that the children have taught us is listening to them. Yeah. It's very difficult to listen to busy children, but that's all they need from us. And that's one thing I've learned. I need to learn to listen to people and that's what I've become, a listener. In the Bible, when God said that the children come unto me, He's just trying to say that you should take everything so simply, you know. Just be like the children, you know. Sing. Can no, we do that again? Like Start over. <laughs> what is that? Oh, praise to Him. There it is. One, two, three. Let's go. Sing your praise to Him. Oh, yes. Yeah. Sing. Sing. Everybody praise Him, for the Lord is good. <laughs> it's been awesome, and these kids are great too. Like when you're tired, those kids just, they bring such life. They serve you, and you remember that you're not, you're not in the choir to be served. You're there to serve, and you're there to help build these children the way that they need to be. And also, it also teaches you that everything about the ministry comes from God yeah. because doing over 200 concerts <laughs> you need the strength that 
you, you naturally don't have, it comes from God. And sometimes they'll be like, come on, come and play with us. Yeah. You know, it's not going to be fun if you don't play with us. And those are the simple things. And also maybe when you're traveling, they want you to read a book to them or something, you know. Yeah. They just want to spend time with you. going for a McDonald's for lunch. See ya. Welcome to the Watoto Children's Choir Bus, where we have fun, fun, fun all day long. We have been to Universal Studios, San Diego Zoo, and the fair, the beach, and we are looking forward to go to Six Flags. Okay, let's have the girls, please. Thank you. Okay, I've got a team of 28, and so I'll give you the order starting with the children's meals. Do you guys have all-American cheeseburger meals? Yes, still? we do. Okay, I'd like to get 18 all-American cheeseburger meals, and then I would like a number five with a Coke, a number 12 with a vanilla milkshake, a number one with a Sprite, a number two with a vanilla milkshake, number four with a Coke, number seven with a Sprite, two apple pies, and then an all-American cheeseburger meal with a Sprite. So it is burger, it's really nice. Cheeseburger is the best. It's delicious. to see the joy on their faces. You know, in my mind I'm playing back constantly what they were like, timid, afraid to give you a hug, and the transformation you see as time goes by where they, they're so confident of themselves, they're happy, they enjoy what they do. Tell me if you wouldn't smile about that. You know, it just blows your mind away. Jovia. I think to me that girl has amazed me on this tour. She has been so joyous all the time. Despite what, you know, she is so, you know, she just makes me feel so proud to know that we travel with such a girl, you know. She's so helpful. And on stage, if you see her, she's just this bright girl. She's just all this big smile, you know. And she makes you feel like, you know, I should be just like that all the time, you know. that they do and the joy that they spread and the innocence that they have makes me change personally. The things that I see them do, I realize I need to change in my own life sometimes. The way that they can just always be joyful and then even when things are going wrong, you know, they can just always keep a smile on my face. I think I've learned that I need to do that more often and I need to work on that and so they've just really changed me. They've encouraged me to be a better person, I think.
when all the necessary people are together, we, we go ahead and train all the teams from scratch all the way to the concert level. We have a pretty rigorous training schedule with the kids. We practice with them for about four and a half months, nine to five, five days a week, and it's, you know, it involves teaching them the music and the choreography that Amy puts together. Hello, everybody. Who's seen a snake before? Me. Okay, tell me how it moves. Show me, Sharon. Mm -hmm. What does its body, does its body lead the head or does the head lead the body? The head leads the body. Exactly, so that's what we need to do for this dance, okay? So our head leads and then our body follows. Kabina and everything, okay? <laughs> Good. Winifred? Okay, Winifred, come on, stand on here and you show everybody how it's done, okay? One, two, ready, go. Look at Winifred. Head and then body. And head. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. Go, Winifred. 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 Okay, let's go. Go, Winifred. Go, Winifred. Come on. Go, baby. Go, baby. Go, baby. Go, baby. I'll never forget my first week of working with them. Um, they were so thankful every hour that I would teach. Oh, thank you, Aunt Amy, for teaching me this. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for doing that. And I just couldn't believe it. I thought I'd never have a response like that from any other uh, group of kids. So it's, it's wonderful. It's a blessing and honor. When we're on tour with Latota, I mean, it's a full-time responsibility. And for us as leaders of the teams, it's a 24-hour it's a job, but we enjoy doing it. The thing that makes me most proud of Tim, well, there are about a hundred things, but I always tell people that he can do anything. I think Amy helps me to be a better person. In fact, I know she does. She's very patient. <laughs> The Watoto Children's Choir that, that we are responsible for now tours all around the world really to represent Watoto Child Care Ministries. We perform in schools, in churches, malls, TV and radio, telling the story about Watoto, about the homes that we're building for children and about the care that we're able to give for these kids. The impact that the tourists have on the children is its Measure tremendous. Already, yeah. Their lives change radically. Their eyes are open. Their worldview, their perspective on life is totally turned around and changed. You know, when they come to us, the kids are very shy. They're withdrawn because of the difficult things that they've experienced in their lives. And the challenge is to help the children to find a sense of, of self-esteem and dignity in their lives again. And we see that happen over the course of a tour. You see the children come out of themselves and their personalities flower and, and mushroom. They must become little ambassadors yeah. in a way. That's true. Yeah. Wow.
instrument, come on. Now if you love the Lord Jesus, say, ah, come on. And if you love the Lord Jesus, say, eh, eh. Come on, if you love the Lord Jesus, shout, hallelujah. To him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. For the Bible tells me so. Materialism is one of the last things on their mind. They just need hugs. And those are just the little things that change their life. And those are the things that teach me that even as an adult, like a human being, we love hugs. We, we're people. We, we need love. Regina, thank you for the hug. <laughs> They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. For the Bible tells me so. The greatness of their program is these little voices in harmony singing perfectly. I mean, they're just, they're, they're singing, and you want to run up and sing with them by the end of the, their concert. It was really um, professionally done. Uh, I'm a musician, so I know it was balanced, EQ, very well, and uh, just fabulous, just the whole thing. Just really well put together, costumes, their lighting, all of that. Everything is all good. It was really cool for our kids to get a chance to experience the children from Africa because the energy, their enthusiasm, these children are wonderful, they appreciate America, they appreciate us. I am just excited about these kids, they are so magnificent, they have so much energy, if they could just give me a little energy, and I'm just thrilled that I came out tonight with my friends to see them. Everyone, by the end of every time I've heard them sing, has, has wanted to just go into the bus and travel with them for the rest of the tour. I was just amazed, it almost brought me to tears, so it's an amazing experience. Such an encouragement, very good. The reason that I'm here is um, I have my daughter with me, I brought her. We met the boys, uh, in fact we, we're a host family for them. It's just been such a, such a blessing for us. And, and I tell people that it's not a, the show is not a, it's not a concert to us, it's a, it's a worship. They just, yeah, they make me happy. <laughs> they inspire me because they're just so joyful. Their faces are so cute when they're up there. and. I just love to listen to them. We kept talking to my grandson who lives about two hours away from us. We went down and picked him up and brought him down to this concert. And he looked at me and he says, Grandpa, he says, this is awesome. He said, I'd go see him again. It's very powerful for just anyone who, who ever sees them. And if they don't see them, they've really lost out. I've seen them four times and I cry every time I see them. And whenever they're in California, I'll see them again. We never miss the uh, children. They're, they're fantastic. We see them almost every time they come here. You really feel good when you leave here. You just can't help but feel.